we good parents? Oh my god, what are you doing? And then I wake up from a big shake, like a shake. Now the whole family's sick. Yeah, I've been, I'm like, I'm dehydrated. Like, this so is again. family life, we all get sick together. Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? We're not doing that well. No, we're not. Right, Emma? We got sick because daddy was sick and daddy got us sick, right? We got our tum-tums are hurting. Her belly's hurting, my belly's hurting. I think we got a, f a stomach bug. My bubbles. She doesn't have a fever that much right now. She had a little bit, I fed her. She's yeah. good right now. But she has been crying all day, pretty much. I made a little nook like this. And she's kind of sitting in a couch and sitting and enjoying with me, watching TV. Yeah, my poor baby. My poor baby was crying today, you guys, because she's in so much pain. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, we were laying with her in bed right here on a couch. And then I wake up from a big shake, like a shake in the house i'm like am i like dizzy or something i don't understand and you guys know probably i'm a californian i moved from california to avoid earthquakes apparently there was an earthquake at five it was a 5.1 earthquake in delaware um which is literally maybe like an hour away two hours away from me i'm in philly area down the river like literally i'm right on the border of New Jersey and uh, PA. Like I'm right across from New Jersey. I'm right by the river of Delaware River. And I guess it traveled really high and I'm only two blocks away from the water. Um, I felt that. I felt that and I immediately called my neighbor and she's like, oh, um, I'm, in, I'm in another area, you know, in Bucks County. I did feel it. I thought it was just me, um, yeah. Yeah, we had an earthquake in PA. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Mm -mm. I do not like earthquakes. And this is an old house. It's made out of a brick type of deal. So it's not like it's in LA. It's like made out of plaster type of deal. What I'm saying, this house is old. Okay? It is not meant to be falling down from an earthquake. Because there's no earthquakes on the East Coast. It doesn't happen. But another thing happened today. Which pissed me off. So about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, yeah. I ordered a toy for Emma. Because I thought like, oh, she's going to start crawling and stuff like that. So for Christmas and Hanukkah and New Year's. We're going to do gifts for her for the New Year's. I wanted to order her something. This thing came in. And I'll show it to you guys right now. Literally. Okay, so this is, it was, it looked on the internet like it was a big toy, you know? I'm like, oh, it's going to be nice. She's going to play with it. Okay, this is Emma's doll, and that's that. This is extremely tiny, okay? My cat could play with this. Like, she's, she could play with it technically right now, but she's too young for that. And by the time she grows to play with it, Basically, I spent like 10 bucks for nothing. I'm sorry, whoever sent this to me, I am giving them a bad review because this is deceiving. I paid $10 for something that cost a dollar. I'm not even joking. Bullshit. I'm never buying toys on eBay again. That's a major fail. Oh, let me know, you guys, if that ever happened to you guys. Usually, I order from Amazon and I never have a problem. Baby. Daddy's home. Daddy, you want to say hi? It's your baby. Yeah. I have a headache. How are you feeling? Sick. Not as awful as I felt this morning or yesterday, but I feel a lot better. Now the whole family's sick. Yeah. I've been, I'm like, I'm dehydrated. Like, this really is bad. family life. We all get sick together. <laughs> what is it? We all get sick together. That's our, That's family life. Yeah, I know. My little pumpkin. But I think Bubushka is doing okay. Bushik. Or Bushik. Bushik. She seems fine. I mean, I think babies are like just like immune to like a lot of stuff that we're not immune Who's to. Who's you looking at daddy? 
She was such a good girl. I was in the bathroom for like a long time because I threw up and then I was in the bathroom and then I threw up. So she's been really patient with me. Thank you, honey. You're such a good baby. Are you a happy baby? Are you a happy baby? Hmm? You have a clean diaper. Yeah. Are you happy? Your belly's not hurting anymore. Mommy fed you. Are we good parents? Oh my God. What are you doing? <laughs> what is she doing? Are we good parents? You gotta know about that. I wanna sleep. What is that tongue action that she does? Are you happy? I need to put bibs on her now. She's drooling a lot. The drool monster. The drool monster. The see, she wiped her own mouth though. Mm -hmm. That means she's so sophisticated. <laughs> she's smart. Happy, baby? <laughs> well, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? She wants to grab Panther again. Okay. Is that the Panther? No, don't. Because he could scratch her, honey. Don't. Is that the kitty cat? Panther. Are you afraid of the baby? What are you doing? What are you doing to my robe? Did he really just put his paws in my in my robe? Mm -hmm. Are you cold, buddy? What is that action? Kitty cat? Kitty cat. Oh, his paws are freezing. That's why <laughs> he climbed in. Aww. Panther is the baby. Okay, she's not comfortable. Why don't you put her to bed, honey? Say night, night, everybody. Good night. Uh, How do you calm a little tiny baby that is screaming? Literally, was she screaming? Yeah, she was screaming. She was screaming. It was really frightening. Oh. I think it's because her teeth are coming in. Her teeth are coming in. I think she got a stomach buggy. Oh. All day today she was crying, and I was able to like console her, like I would rock her. And I would hold her. I would lay with her. I think this is the key. I would give her a little bit of liquids, fluids. Uh, she felt a little bit better. Um, but at the end of the day, I was just like overwhelmed. I'm still overwhelmed because I'm not feeling well. None of us. I think the whole family got sick. Yeah, our poor baby. And then I just held her so tight to my chest. I just rocked her with her pacifier and then she finally felt safe and fell asleep. We had a screaming match, you guys, literally. Because when she cries like that, where it's like, I don't know, heart wrenching, I get into a panic attack and I start yelling at him to do something about it because like, I don't know. And then he starts yelling at me, why am I yelling at him? It's just not good. And then she, <laughs> we were yelling at each other, shouting at each other, she said, not even yelling. And she does this face. How did she do her face? And then she starts yelling. She, she stopped crying, like looking at us. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we're trying to match her her tone of voice because she. This is just, it was just. Her fever was good, right? Yeah, we took her temperature. It was 97 degrees, 97.6 degrees, which is fine. So her temperature is okay. I don't know. It's tough when your kid's crying and you don't know what to do about it. And she never cries, you guys. She never cries like this. She's a really good baby. She sleeps through the night. You know, she, she fusses only like... You know, like when she needs a diaper change and like, or she needs food, but not like this, the way she was screaming. Last time she was screaming like this, it's when we were in a hospital. Her birth vlog, if you um, watch that, I'll insert somewhere a card right there. And there's a, if you go more, it's actually right there so you could view it. She was screaming then because they made a hole this big in her Oh my god, what did they do to her foot? Yeah, they, they made a hole. Do you remember hole. that? Yeah, she they, like, was... They cut her foot yeah. open. Oh my god, it was It like, was awful. crazy. I know. Remember how she was screaming then? I was like gonna kill them. 
like she was screaming and she was screaming like that today like she was in pain you know yeah, yeah anyways I, th I think we're gonna we were going to go to bed mm -hmm. I'm exhausted nap upstairs his stomach hurts again uh, I'm gonna finish up my tea and then I'm going to bed we're both exhausted absolutely um, he switched schedule he's off tomorrow because he needs to get well for his competition and then he'll work on Sunday anyways you guys thank you so much for watching please let me know down below how you console your baby how you come a uh, infant down when they're so sick I tried to do this five things I tried to do five things with the baby uh, one just you know cuddle with her uh, show her that I love her like you know like stroke her head her face you know like love her and just like I don't know just just comfort her gave her lots of food and fluids you know and then just just play with her I think that helps but then at the end of the day it's just you, you get worn out because it's like you know you know your baby's hurting and you have no idea what to do you know and if you call the doctor and the, and the nurse line they'll tell you oh if there's a fever just um, bring them to the emergency room I did give her the grope water gro grape not, not grape grope water or something like that um, I did give her that and it seemed like it calmed her down a little bit but I think her teeth are coming up because one I could feel them up on top two she's drooling a lot all right my friends i'm gonna call it a night thank you so much please comment down below please thumbs up the vlog and we will see you guys tomorrow thank you bye